Okay, today we're going to talk about the Colts two under three deep pressure package. They ran this uh, quite a bit, four plays in the game versus the Bills, and it gave them tons of issues. One of the issues the Bills have is a lot of their routes are deep to intermediate routes. But here's how the concept works. All right, these six players are rushing the passer. They play two players in this situation, the free safety and the Sam as eyes defenders, meaning they are reading the quarterback's eyes. They're looking to see where he's going with the football. And usually they try to stay about a yard in front of the sticks. Some guys teach it differently. Corners are basically locking on number one, all right, and but playing initially deep third with a middle third safety. This concept has been used by Coach Pat Narduzzi and some other ones throughout the league. Um, but Eberfluss has brought it to the Colts and has been successful with it. The other person who runs it is um, down in uh, Clemson with Venables. But here's the process. All right, you got a six-man pressure. All right, you have your two eyes defenders here looking to read quarterback's eyes. They flush the pocket, and he's forced to throw the ball away. Here it is again. All right, they have a six-man pressure. Now, this looper, you'll see later in the game, they're on the same pressure. All right, I'll show it to you a little bit. But he's supposed to probably loop outside of this, all right, to be that force edge defender, contained defender. They actually get tied up a little bit here. But as you can see, it's a nice concept. The routes are deeper routes, all right? They're looking to run deeper routes. So really, you got a third defender, third defender, eyes defender here. If he throws that short, you'll be able to come make a tackle. Getting underneath, there's no threat here other than, all right, number one receiver. So he doesn't see a threat, nobody to play. He helps underneath number one. Nice concept. All right. Forced to throw it away. All right. One of the issues that um, Allen had. Okay. Here's the concept again. Again, another six man pressure. All right. They bring a, they play a little game here with a tackle and the end. All right. Looks like load front pre snap, but they are going to send six. Here's an eyes defender. They bring the safety down again. Two guys playing eyes, and he's playing middle of the third. All right. They try to hit a deep route again. That's why this coverage is pretty good against the Bills. On third down, they like to hit some vertical routes. All right. It's not a bad route concept there, but they actually, all right, the eyes defender gets underneath this corner. Probably could have hung on number one a little bit more. All right. But, you know, they're in a decent position. All right. They, they force a deep throw, and they are able to stop him in that situation. Again, good situation to run it. They got two under three deep. Bills decide to go max protection on third and eight. So really, they're going to run a couple vertical routes here. For the, these two guys check release him, but they end up getting a six-man pressure. So it actually plays into the hands, and the Colts get a nice pick here. Like I said earlier, this linebacker loops this time, causes pressure. He actually has to throw off his back foot. All right, get a nice tip and deflection there. And they have to do a nice job. The pressure gets home, but look at the route concepts. Bills love to throw the ball deep, all right, push it down the field. If you watch the rest of this game, they played a lot of zone coverage this game. The game plan was very effective. I think they went man coverage on only three occasions. The rest were this type of zone pressure and also playing a lot of zone where you saw Allen try to force some really bad balls in there. Here it is again. All right, you got a little game in here. He's coming outside. Look at the two under three deep. Really no place to go with the football. Get a nice deflection. And they do a nice job causing the turnover. Okay, last time they play a pro front and they bring two guys off the edge and play it again, two under three deep. Here's how the coverage looked. All right, so you did the end coming off the picture. The only problem here is they did a bad job in containment. So Allen was able to scramble for seven yards. But the actual blitz, as you can see here, was pretty solid. So you got two here. He's dropping. He's dropping. There's your two under three deep. All right. They're bringing six. He sees quarterback eyes starting to work to the flat defender. So he starts to play it. He's sitting underneath looking for work. All right. He has a receiver here he's pushing towards. But he sees Allen's eyes start to go the other direction. All right and is able to make the play there. So I hope you enjoyed this content. All right, hopefully you'll see some more stuff on my website and hope you have a great day.
All right, again, two under, three deep as the Bills were taken advantage of by the Colts. Colts were very effective using this two under, three deep concept.